Bowie has been really sick lately, like really sick. And it's strange because I've had him for 10 years, he's never been sick before, so the, the first time he gets sick and I was just overwhelmed, I felt guilty and I didn't know what to do. It was Emily noticed at first I was sick, which makes me feel even worse. The fact that I didn't notice that my own snake was sick. Well obviously I'm spending a little bit more time around him at home. She noticed him being weird, making strange noises and like hissing, and like um, not a normal snake hiss. I know it sounds strange because snakes hiss anyway, but like a cat hiss like... <laughs> And um, we noticed when he was doing it, he had like a lot of saliva in his mouth and he was drooling, like all running down his neck. And... Where does a snake's neck even start or end, right? But it was, he was, he was quite clearly really ill and he was taking a long time to shed as well. Thankfully, Emma's been amazing. So she noticed he was sick, she kept an eye on him, she noticed when he was being worse and when he was doing better. She was the one who called the vets and made an appointment. She even lent me money to go to the vets. It has been a nightmare. Have you ever tried taking a snake to the vet and it's not a normal experience like it is with a dog? Um, on the other hand though, there are some experiences where you, you, you do think you see more to a snake than you normally would. You'd be surprised that the snake knows, like he had a box that I was taking him to the vets in and after the second time he, he, he was uncomfortable in the box and he was trying to escape whereas at first he would just stay in the box he obviously knew where he was going and he won't come out of his tank normally I open the door of his tank and give him some time and he'll, he'll just sliver out now I can leave the door open and he'll stay in because he knows he's either getting medicine or he's going to the vets he ended up having like probably a dozen injections it's like not all in one go but going back and forth and having injections everyone's first question was well is he insured no, because as I said, snake insurance is it's pretty expensive. It pay monthly and he's never been sick before. So over the ten years, unless he cost me two to four thousand pounds now, then it wouldn't be worth getting him insured. As strange as that sounds. And he hasn't. He's cost me a lot of money in January, worst time of year possible. But he's getting better now. Thanks to Vets for Pets, have been so kind, so lovely with them. They even posted the picture on Facebook, it was really nice. They've been brilliant with them. They actually, I didn't know that Vets for Pets had a reptile specialist. This was a bit of a learning curve for me. They were brilliant with them, they diagnosed them quick, they kept an eye on them, they advised the best things, and it was, it's been good. It's strange because he actually gets nervous now when you're trying to get him out of the tank. Whereas before, my way of getting him out of the tank would just be to open the door and he'd sliver out. Now, I have to wrestle him out of the tank. Good news is, once he's been out for a bit, it's pulled on my shoulders, it's also quite difficult to get back in the tank. So, I don't think he's, he hates me, which is good. Still likes me. How long have you lived in Bobby? Eight months. I'm probably saying that, eight months. Yeah. How did you feel about him before he got sick? Didn't really have any feelings towards him. I didn't really have an opinion on it. It's like a, not to sound horrible, but kind of just like a snake that was in the room, that was just there. <laughs> we'll never know God was always a snake in the room. Mm -hmm. So like, snakes as a pet? Didn't agree with it no. at all. Why? I just didn't think they had a personality at all. I didn't think there was any reason to have a snake as a pet. And after him being sick, or George him being sick? Um, just saw a different side to him. Like he's, you're making me nervous because you're looking at me like you're interviewing me and it's making me uncomfortable. Can you stop? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, stop it! Hey, sorry. He, um, he, I don't know, I, I noticed he wasn't being himself, which I thought was a bit weird because I didn't think that he was being himself, if that makes any sense. Yeah, like there wasn't a self. I didn't think he had a personality, but then when I realised he was acting different, it's like, oh, okay, maybe he does have a personality because yeah. he's not acting like you know. He's a more affectionate, didn't he? Yeah, see, mate. a lot more. Yeah. 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 Acting personality. Yeah. Like you can see when he's like pleading with you not to hand him over to the vets and trying to cling on to you, on, whereas I wouldn't have thought of that before. I would have thought he was just more well, angry in his face when he's... Uh, or he wants to bite person. your face off, yeah. He definitely wanted to yesterday. Though. Wanted to. Really I think mean, you proved how not aggressive you can be <laughs> by not biting your face yeah. off when you can see you wanted to. Um, other than that, I wouldn't have seen anything like that if he wasn't ill. Cool. So we get another snake. Yeah. Cool. Not a replacement for Bobby. Just like no, not a replacement for Bobby. Just another snake. 
I can see your butt on my camera. <laughs> I'll put something over on the video. Mm -hmm. Oh, edit. There we go. You shed completely now, man. There you go. Hard work, but it's healthy again. Yay. And keep giving him medication, but he'll probably despise you by the time he finishes the meds he's on. But he's healthy, it's the main important thing. Just shed too, so he feels dead smooth. 